Hi everyone, it's Becky Raisler, and I'm with Becky's Junk Journals on Instagram and on uh, YouTube. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I pick colors for my junk journals. And hold on a second. There. Still see it? <laughs> Had a little mishap. Almost lost you. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I choose colors. This is a, a new junk journal that I just made. It's about a two inch spine with three signatures. And the uh, cover was made with um, my, my uh, discard paper that I use while I'm working. And I wipe my brushes and my stamp pads and everything off on it. And when it gets full enough, I use it to cover a journal. This one, I made uh, with about three quarters of an inch uh, along the edges open because I like to put a lot of lace and, and uh, pom-pom and stuff like that, uh, uh, trims on there um, to fill it all out and in times past. Oops, see a space I have to fix on that little rolled up there. Okay, this one is predominantly red um, and orange and yellow. And those are colors that I don't normally use. So I've challenged myself to do this journal in uh, predominantly red um, with um, an orange in yellow <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to use blue uh, as my accent color in in some of the pages because there's a little bit of blue in this cover at the top of the bottom and a lot of blue on the back so I'm going to use blue as my cool color to um, be the opposite and uh, really vibrate against the warm colors um, and you'll see where it really makes the blue stand out we're uh, against those other colors because it's opposite on the color wheel from reddish orange. And anyway, so here we go. Um, this is a fold out that I made with the one that opens there and opens down there. And I have been doing this on all of my uh, new journals this opens up and this opens up this way and this opens up so i've been doing this um uh, for the front page of all my journals and uh it is kate mauer inspired hi kate okay now what i have done is i have gone through all my signatures and i have put in pockets belly bands and uh tuck spots and then I went back through for each page and added a selection of papers that I wanted to use and in some cases I added some fabric scraps that I thought might be interesting in this page layout so and that's um, how uh, I get going in my junk journals is I have to start with the pockets and uh, belly bands first and then I come in with the um, papers and tags and stuff that I'm going to make for each of the pockets and then I come in with fabric and trim uh, to um, get me going on what ideas so when I pull the book open and start to work I've got a page that's already basically set up for me in the color scheme I want to use and all I have to do is add uh, fabrics and lace and stuff uh, as textures and make out the cards and the inserts that are going to go in here. This opens up and this is a Kool-Aid dyed paper towel that was the sock towel that I used when I dyed some paper and I decided just to save that and I think I like it. I like that texture on there, so I'm going to use that. Here I'm going to put lace on the edges of that one. This is Kool-Aid dyed paper. 
as this is Kool-Aid dyed paper. There's some fabric I thought would be nice on this side and uh, my pocket with the papers. Some of them are still plain, but you can see where I'm going with that one, the two pockets. And now I want to use this on this side. And then this page, I want to use this orange. And that's just an envelope that I've uh, glued over the edge. And here we come, more of the pieces of lace that I'm going to use like tabs. This is going to go along this corner pocket there. Lace ready to go on that one. Bunch of papers stuffed in that one and have decided anything else it needs. And I'll I put these um, in there when they're plain. Um, my, my dog Bluebell just showed up. Uh, and I'll put these in there uh, plain and then I'll come back and decorate them when I work on the whole page spread. I thought I'd use that lace piece of lace there on that page. Here you go, some blue for fabric for this one and all my fabric scraps came from my sister Bonnie who lives near Houston and she is the mask maker for our family and she's been making masks and she sends me her scraps from making masks. I didn't get one with this fabric on it Bonnie. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a red page and this is Kool-Aid dyed paper as is this side, which turned out funny. I don't know what happened with that one. I guess it just got burnt. Lace for the edge. And you got a side pocket. Lace that's going to go on this side to bring the blue over. And a corner tuck. This is going to go on this side. Decorate that up. And this is just a children's workbook page that I have folded up and put there, and I've got an envelope there. Seems like every time I start a new journal, I, I uh, reduce the number of pages that goes in it so I can add more uh, foo foo to it. This will go up there. Another belly band. Pocket. Children's uh, coloring book. Go there. Some more of that scrap fabric that I thought would look good. You know, blue and orange are across each other. This, sh this shade of blue and kind of a brighter orange are across from each other and they, they really look good together. So there's some blue and orange together. I got my lace for the edges. This I'm going to put down here on that one. This opens up and it has a pocket behind it. Another children's workbook on there. More of that uh, paper towel. And here's some lace that's going to go on this page somewhere in that pocket and another envelope with a pocket back behind it. And see, I brought the blue from here over here. It carries your eye from, and it also makes it a lot easier because if you look at this without the blue, it's sort of dull. But when you put that little bit of blue in there, it just really, really makes it uh, vibrate and special. Okay, and I got the back pocket, and that's all she wrote for that one. If you liked it, be sure and uh, give me a thumbs up and. Um, if you subscribe, you'll be able to get notice when I uh, make new videos. I'm trying to do them once or twice a week, and I'm working on a series of how I put colors together. Thank you for watching, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.